Hey guys, good morning. It is Monday morning. It's been the most productive Monday morning of my whole life and I didn't vlog any of it because I literally just decided to vlog. I realized I haven't done a vlog at home in Toronto in a while, but by 9.30 a.m. this morning, by like 9.15 actually, I had meal prepped, all my food for the week, and went and got my eyebrows threaded. Um, I've been getting so many compliments on my eyebrows, thank you. I just started threading them about three months ago. I did a vlog, which I will link to down below, my first time ever doing it, but I go to Wax On here in Toronto and I've had such a good experience. I'm not partnered with them or anything, but I wanted to try threading. And then I just got ready. It's kind of an interesting day today, doing something new. So I rented a studio to take photos in, which I've never done before. And it's getting cold outside. And like I said in my Ottawa vlog, I'm really trying to step up my game on Instagram and I don't feel comfortable like a lot of girls go to like cafes and restaurants and take photos there and I'm like I'm just not there yet it takes me a long time to get my shot and it was more kind of affordable than I thought it was gonna be and uh, it's a really really nice space and um We'll see. So Nebs is gonna come with me, be my photographer, and we'll see what happens. Uh, but my makeup is very similar to what I did in my full coverage foundation routine, which I will link to down below. It's a little bit amped up because it is for photos. I'm wearing false lashes. Who is she? I think this one might be sticking up but I kind of like it. I'm kind of into it. So yeah, that's kind of the plan. Nems goes to Serbia on Wednesday, so that's why I wanted to get these photos done today. He's um, been really helpful lately where, as I've been trying to like expand my content, I guess, because you really need someone to help you, and I really like don't want to pay someone to do it, obviously, <laughs> if I don't have to. Uh, and like, like I said, I'm just not comfortable to even hire somebody because it's like I don't even know what I want so I need to kind of like struggle through getting my shots and it just takes a long time when you're trying to figure out like how to photograph your body and how not to look the same in every photo and all that kind of stuff so I've got literally a huge suitcase of clothes to take to the studio along with um, I've got to take like two sponsored Instagram posts too and then I just decided, I was like, while I'm there, let me bring all the clothes I have and just shoot as much as I can in two hours. I planned out all my outfits last night, trying to be like official and professional. So um, that's kind of the plan for now. And we'll see how that goes. I hope it goes well. It's a really, really nice space. Um, and I think I'll shoot like a fall lookbook while I'm there too. So anyways, that's kind of the plan for today. Hello, coming to you much less glamorous than I was yesterday. A big part of the reason why I don't vlog sometimes during the week is because I just look like utter shit during the day. Like if I'm just home and I'm not going out, first of all, I'm probably naked. Like I'm a bit of a nudist in my own apartment. And <laughs> otherwise, like I'm wearing this shirt. I've been wearing it for days. It has like the Ula Henriksen mask on it. Like God knows what else. Um, and I just, I don't look cute when I'm home by myself because I don't have to. Um, I'm gonna go to Loblaws. I wanna get some popcorn seasoning because I've been craving like chips and I wanna get some like popcorn seasoning to put like salt and vinegar, dill pickle, all dressed, all that kind of stuff. I actually went out and bought chips and dip last night, which is my biggest, probably one of my biggest, um, vices and it's something that I used to binge on I don't know if I would call it binging but it's something I used to like gorge myself on basically eat myself sick on last year so I pretty much haven't bought it at all this year and I don't know why last night I was like I'm gonna go do it and I measured out my chips I measured out my dip and I went over my calories a little bit but I didn't eat the whole bag and normally like if I'm being completely 100% honest with you I'll eat the entire like full-size bag of chips 
and not all of the dip but like come close enough and or I won't finish the bag but either way I get so disgusted with myself that I have to throw it all out and like crunch up the chips and put them in the garbage can and like that's kind of embarrassing to admit like just don't eat it but anyways but I ate it last night and I measured it and I had it and it was okay and I had some again today. Like I've never successfully had chips in my house and like gotten it to the end of the day without me finishing all of it. So that to me is an accomplishment and that to me is why I don't want to do any particular diet that completely deprives me. I want to live my life and enjoy it and I freaking love chips and dip but I just need to enjoy it in moderation. And now that I've lost weight I'm at about 16 pounds so far. And it's taken me months, but that's okay. Like, I truly feel a difference in how I feel, how I think about food. Things are better. Like, things are not 100%, but they're better. And that's all I can ask for of myself. So, anyways, heading to Loblaws to get some popcorn seasoning and I think some more fruit. I've been craving fruit so much lately. Had a bunch of um, orange and grapefruit today. And I just want to eat more fruit. And I got Walmart grocery delivery the other day, but I didn't buy a ton of fruit because so sometimes I'm afraid it's going to go bad. Anyways, this is totally irrelevant. I feel like I had a bigger point to get to here. But anyways, that is just the ramblings of me. Oh, what are you doing? Are you trapped? Fun or trapped? Trapped or fun? You wanna come out? I can't tell. Is that a thank you or a, I was having fun? So just in from the grocery store, I didn't take you with me. I forgot to take my camera. But I'll show you what I got and I just got in my new dishware. Yeah, being an adult. So I got this, it's the artisanal 16 piece marbleized dinnerware set for four so i got it from bed bath and beyond the plates that we have now if you watch my wedding days are like so scratched up one literally broke in my hand the other day like um i got this set i thought it looked nice it's like not like the kind of marble that i generally like that's a little bit more like less swirly but that's fine um and i like these bowls because they're like shallow if you're like an old timey subscriber do you remember the video where nems and i fought about whether this is a flat plate no flat bowl or a deep plate oh god uh i'm on team flat bowl he's deep plate let me know what you think but these were a pretty good price i mean i feel like as i'm getting older i'm realizing how expensive things are when you shop outside of like ikea and the dollar store and home home sense but anyways this is a good price a lot of the sets i looked at i was like oh that's a good price and then i'd be like for one person like it'd be one plate one bowl one mug i was like excuse me so this is four then i got these flat bowls and um some more more plates so pretty happy with this excited to get rid of the ikea stuff we've had it for like two and a half years now and it's definitely uh seen its day but let me show you what i got from the grocery store so here is my haul i had this all stuffed in my book bag uh, like i said i wanted to pick up some fruit so i got some apple apples two gala two honey crisp three oranges and a cucumber i wanted more chips earlier today and then i just stopped myself cut up a cucumber and started eating that like a freaking champ um so i figured i'd buy some more <laughs> then found this type this um low ice cream i'd never heard of it they had a bunch of different flavors arctic zero rocky road trip and then i've been wanting to try this too it's like a banana based ice cream i'm pretty sure so that one's in the flavor mango banana this is all from loblaws by the way then i got two of the three popcorn seasonings that i wanted dill pickle and salt and vinegar i gotta get all dressed but i'll do that in walmart grocery delivery i have so much fun when i go to the grocery store now because i rarely go like i go once every two months now probably because i do grocery delivery because it's just easier and more convenient when you live downtown pickled jalapenos because i'm out uh some 100 calorie packs of popcorn to go with my seasonings and yes i know these are high in sodium but can't win them all people then i got some meats here some turkey and prosciutto uh like i said nems is going to serbia tomorrow so he'll probably have plain sandwiches and then i like having these as kind of like snack items and i'm super impressionable and i love finding canadians who do what i eat in a day so i watch amy macedo and she had this in hers this is the white with whole grain and it's only 50 calories a slice and for some reason i'm craving a tuna sandwich for supper that's never happened before i don't know what's up with that why don't i try this ice cream now so this is what they look like. I feel like this is like, looks a little bit odd. This is also lactose free, which I didn't realize. So in this banana mango one, it's literally only bananas and mango. 
tastes like baby food which i don't hate i actually like it i ate i don't know if i should tell you this but i ate blueberry baby food far into my into my life well this stuff is really soft oh super soft if you can see but there's real marshmallows in there let's try this one dude that is so weird it just like first of all the marshmallows are really soft in kind of a gooey but good way the ice cream just disappears in your mouth it's like there's a whisper of chocolate flavor so so far i don't think that's good and i'm gonna unpack all these plates i guess wow tuna sandwiches new plates this is the quality content you come here for i'm sure <laughs> okay i'm back with my new dishes i'm so excited i've wanted plates that have an edge on them and i don't know if that's going to be annoying or not but i watched this girl again influenced by youtube sarah v sarah's vegan kitchen and she has plates that have an edge on them so i wanted plates that have an edge on them and i got them and i'm very excited and then the bowls like i just like that it's not like a completely typical shape if that makes sense the lighting is very bad everywhere i go so i'm gonna just put rue in the shot um, what I wanted to say was I just started season five of Someone Knows Something. It's a great podcast. Uh, it's Canadian. Well, he's Canadian, CBC. Not all the cases he covers are Canadian, but this one is. And um, if you've watched it, let me know. Or if you, oh, excuse me. And then I was also listening to <laughs> Canadian True Crime at the grocery store. That's another one of my favorites. And then I just started season five of Someone Knows Something. So those are my two of my favorite podcasts and then i also love um my favorite murder i'll have them all listed down below and this american life which i haven't listened to in a couple months but it's just because i've been on like this true crime extra true crime kick so <laughs> those are my favorite podcasts let me know what yours are down below and then as for television while we're chatting i watched new blood recently i thought that was great i loved um what else did I watch recently? New Blood is like British. You know I love British. What else did I love? Oh my god, The Sinner was incredible. It was like I didn't realize it was going to be that good. I loved that. I loved Safe. Has the guy from Dexter in it, but he's British. That was really, really good. I loved... Oh my god, Making a Murder Season 2. Holy guacamole. I won't give any spoilers, but I was left with a lot of questions. And to the point where I didn't even realize the season had ended. And I was... 18 minutes into season one before i realized that i was watching season one episode one again because they do some flashbacks so i kind of thought it was a flashback and i was like this is a really extended flashback but no i'm just dumb i was 18 minutes into the first season which i had rewatched the first season like two weeks ago in preparation anyways let me know if you've been watching any of those things but season two is incredible Ugh. and my knee didn't hurt too much when i was out and about then so that was good okay i'll leave you now see you tomorrow it's way too hot you're warm? You're cold? Why are you doing this? What are you doing? Why do you like this? You have four beds and you've decided to set up shop in a Walmart bag. Man. Oh my God. She's so into it. <laughs> she can't scratch. She was just trying to scratch. <laughs> she got the bag. Hey guys, uh, it is um, mid to late afternoon on Wednesday and Nums just left. I'm so... It never gets any easier. We've been together for five years now. We've done a lot of long distance. Like we did basically a year out of our first two years were long distance. And then we've like, I traveled a bunch for work. He's traveled home to Serbia a lot. And uh, we've done a lot of long distance, but it never gets easier easier like i still cry every time he leaves um i don't know i'm gonna be like so lonely this week and it's weird because i was single for basically my entire life and i never like i was like i'm an independent woman blah 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 blah, blah. but you just get used to having somebody around and when, then when they're not around you're kind of like now what do i do so anyways 
I'm gonna drown my sorrows. I just had some chips and now I'm gonna have a fiber one brownie with Halo Top birthday cake and some fat free Cool Whip. So although I'm indulging, I'm indulging in a fairly smart way. I'm not like going over my calories and even if I did, oh my God. Oh, the bowl is so hot. I just took it out. <laughs> oh my God. The bowl is scorching hot. I just took it out of the dishwasher. I really like our new bowls, by the way. I've been using them and I like, I like the edge on them. But yeah, let me know if you've ever done long distance with your significant other. It's really hard. Like, it can be good because when we were doing a lot of long distance back in the day, um, we really made the most of our time together. Like anytime we were together, we were traveling or we were doing something. So that is definitely a positive. It makes you really appreciate the person. Okay, that's fine. Good, you? Good, I forgot sandwiches, God damn it. What? Yeah. You had them in your bag. I mean, you had them in your hand. Not my sandwiches, I put so much work into those. <sighs> Sorry. Yeah. Oh no, bub. Also, like, I don't know if it sounds like I'm obsessed with food. I feel like I talk a lot about food in my vlogs. Well, I am kind of obsessed with food, but I personally, when I watch vlogs, I love seeing what people eat because I'm obsessed with food, I guess. I don't know. You let me know what you think. If it's too much food, not enough food, um, you tell me. So I'm just getting ready to head out the door to the Inars holiday event. I'm so happy with how my makeup came out. It just all really came together very nicely wearing the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation, Too Faced Concealer, um, NARS Highlight. This lip is NARS Power Matte Pigment in London's Calling. Um, I don't know, brows are on point, lashes, like came together real good. Oh, I was gonna put on earrings. Let me show you what I'm wearing. It's gonna get really close to the mirror because everything is a mess in my apartment. Um, but this is a look from my sock boot video. If that is up, this jacket is Fashion Nova, dress is Fashion Nova, and the boots are the H&M sock boots. And then I'm gonna, mm, actually, I think I'm gonna leave my ears with nothing in them. My hair was just like really not agreeing with me today, so I decided to pop it up in a bun. But yeah, I'm gonna get ready to head out the door momentarily. So it's a very exciting morning. I have lost 18 pounds. This was my first big goal, not 18 pounds, but I wanted to get into the 150s. So I started at 178 and now I'm 159.9. So um, about 18 pounds. And I just wanted to get into the 150s. That was my first big goal. I don't have like an end target goal. I'm not really sure, but I know that I weigh more than I've ever weighed. But right now I'm less than I've been in a very long time and I started this in January. It's been a very long journey. Um, if you'd like another weight loss update video, let me know because I could kind of ramble on about this forever. I have so many things to say about, you know, how I did it, how I was motivated, how I did it without any like particular fad diet because I feel like my body and my mind have truly changed over the past nine months, the way I think and the way I feel. And I've said before, but I don't find watching someone's like end product being like, I lost 18 pounds and this is how I did it. I don't find that motivating. Like you've seen my journey, Rue, you've seen my journey over the past um, nine months and it's been tough. And, um, yeah, and it's still tough, but I feel good. Um, I feel really, really happy. I feel so incredibly proud of myself. And like, I've been watching a lot of Crispy's vlogs and she talks a lot about her struggles. And if you would like an updated, like where I'm at with my weight loss video, cause that last one, I think people seem to like it. Let me know because I have so many things to say. Like I've already filmed this for my vlog several times and it's get, gotten too long winded for it to be part of the vlog. This is actually the third time I'm filming this now. Hi, BB. Rue woke me up at 4.30 this morning, put her paw in my mouth and meowed on my face. I haven't, I'm supposed to go to a party tonight and I've been awake since 4.30, it's 9 a.m. Thanks a lot, man. Anyways, feeling very excited, but a uh, plan for today is just to clean the whole freaking house. And then I've gotta take some photos and then I've got a Halloween party tonight. <laughs> I hate Halloween, kind of. I don't know, I haven't decided. I feel like you sound like such a bummer if you say you hate Halloween. I loved trick or treating. But Halloween as adult is just expensive and time consuming. 
sorry. And I'm just not a perfectionist. Like I just don't care enough to put a bunch of time into my look. I don't even care enough in the run of a day to put that much time into my actual makeup let alone like turn myself into another thing. I think it's amazing what other people do. I love seeing it. I just wanna be a part of it, you know? Anyways, uh, okay, I gotta go clean. I'm just procrastinating. Hello, look how Halloween-y I am. This took way longer than I had expected, but I'm actually happy with how it came out. Um, I copied a look that ShanXO did, and I'll have an Instagram post up that has everything that's on my face and in my hair, but I couldn't find the friggin' shirt that I wanted to wear. It's like a bodysuit and it comes up around the neck and almost looks like a spider web. But of course, I couldn't find it. I was searching for it forever. I'm like, my apartment is 600 square foot? Like, where the F is it? Anyways, getting ready to head out the door to head to the Halloween party. I'm kind of excited. I actually kind of like how this came out. Um, I like the gray purple umbrella. But anyways, don't have time to talk. Let's go. event and it was lots of fun it was very cool i haven't been to the royal ontario museum since i was like 16 Ruth's freaking out because i just got in the door but it was very cool to go to a party in a museum they do it uh a bunch throughout the year not only for halloween anyways i think i'm gonna end the vlog here but i'm gonna pick up vlogging next week i'm gonna try and vlog more because i kind of fell off of the vlogging bandwagon for a little bit there so thank you so much for watching if you'd like to connect with me you can find me on instagram twitter and facebook at samantha jane oit and i'll see you guys next time bye bye <laughs>